right? So it's one thing to set up the captive insurance company, take the risk and have the carrier or the reinsurance company give you, you know, give you credit for that in terms of premium. But, you know, if you just move money over to a captive and then don't manage the claims piece of it, then, you know, long-term, you're not going to end up as good as you could. So in, in the medical setting, you know, what Bryson described, yes, you get those immediate, you know, opportunities to save and premium credits, but you also get access to the data, really centralized access to the data to get in and make smart moves about, you know, how you're spending the plan or the policy's money. Um, you know, same thing on the workers' comp and general liability in the construction uh, example that you gave, Bryson, right? I mean, so much of it was about, you know, having a little bit more visibility and hands-on, you know, control and hiring the safety people, um, you know, to be able to, you know, block and tackle and do things on those claims to keep those costs down. So it wasn't just, you know, the short-term, you know, premium, you know, the premium spend, but it was also the long-term benefit of better handling the claims. Um, and so, you know, uh, we're going to talk about this a bunch. I mean, it's a hard market right now. I mean, auto, uh, DNO in some spaces, certainly medical, uh, medical benefits continues to be expensive. And so you have all these people clamoring, you know, like, oh, I, I need a captive, you know, as I got a tough renewal. Um, and, and certainly there are spots where captives can address that. But ultimately, the best way to combat rising costs of premiums long term is to start early, start now, you know, the best time was yesterday, the next best time is today. Um, you know, if you're, if you're in the moment trying to ward off a tough renewal with a captive solution, eh, hit or miss. But, you know, for our clients that started 10 years ago, you know, there's very few hard market cycles or, or things that they can't, you know, they can't endure um, or, or respond to in a, in a thoughtful way with their captive. Um, it's not a perfect analogy, but, you know, I mean, if you think about like, you know, if you want to have a nice, comfortable retirement, <laughs> Right. If you start when you're 64, you know, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't pencil out if you want to retire at 65. So likewise, in this setting, you know, if you're looking to address a hard market, tough insurance situation in 2022, you know, it's very difficult if you started in December of 2021. The captive has no reserves. Um, you know, regular insurance is expensive because reinsurance is expensive. Right. So there's not necessarily a panacea of cheap insurance in the reinsurance market. But, you know, if you had started early, built up reserves over time, then you're in a great position to address, you know, anything that comes down the road as time goes on. So 